Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. I'm your host, Adeze Adwaka. And I'm EJ Kimura, your co-host. Now, let's dive into the latest buzz in the world of beauty, fashion and lifestyle. These are the headlines. Taylor Swift overtakes Rihanna to become world's richest female musician. To a savage and insecure actor in relationship therapy. Hailey Bailey and DDG put an end to their relationship. Miu Miu Spring 2025 Nostalgic Yet Fresh Collection. And Tyler stunts in beautiful corsets in recent Instagram posts. And on our trending segment, Taylor Swift has made history as a first musician to achieve billionaire status solely through her songs and music performances, with a net worth of $1.6 billion as of October 7, 2024. Forbes attributes her financial success to her sold-out Global Eras tour and the value of her extensive music catalogue. Her fortune includes approximately $600 million from royalties and touring, another $600 million from a music catalog, and around $125 million in real estate. With this milestone, Swift has surpassed several prominent female musicians, including Madonna, Beyonce, Celine Dion, and Rihanna, who previously held the title of the world's richest female musician with a network of $1.7 billion, largely due to her Fenty Beauty line and Savage Times Fenty lingerie. Now, Taylor Swift ranks as the second richest musician in the world, following Jay Z, who has a network of about $2.5 billion. Wow. I can't even say the words. Like, blah, 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 blah. It's like, cha -ching. Oh. money, 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 money rain everywhere. Wow. I'm really proud of her. I mean, it's not easy for a woman to, you know, wow. get that fit. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's not easy at all. And knowing that, you know, Rihanna once had that. Yes. But I think um, what contributed mostly to Rihanna's success is, yes. you know, her beauty her line. Her beauty line, yeah. But this one is like mostly strictly music. music. Like, you can imagine just making it's music. Big. That means her fans it's are big. like insane. Insane. Um, Taylor Swift fans are crazy. That's what I'm saying. They're insane. <laughs> crazy is actually like yeah, like, insane. It's right insane. Now. <laughs> like, so come on, for you to you know, wow. you know, have such billion streams, making that kind of money, money. for music alone, girl, that's a huge feat. That's really big huge accomplishment. Because I mean, if she had other businesses, maybe a beauty line, yes. a clothing line, you can yes. say okay, that yes. contributed to her success. Yes, but doing this solely for music, yes. With mm. no other streams of income, just music. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, that's really Kudos crazy. to Taylor Swift. Yeah, come on, dash your money, Swift. please. <laughs> And in our sports segment, Tiwa Savage and insecure actor Kendrick Sampson sported in relationship therapy. We need all the juicy details. This has left everyone wondering if they are working on a new project together or a budding romance. Fans are on the edge of the seats waiting for the scoop. We will all be answered on the 18th of October 2024. I mean, I saw the trailer. I don't know what that's about. Video. Exactly. Nobody knows. We don't know if it's hmm. new music. We don't know if it's a movie. But it looks really, really interesting. It looks a little bit different from what a Tiwa Savage would do. Mm. And the actor, it looks really sexy. What do you think about her acting, boy. though? Tiwa Savage acting. Well, I, I don't think it's that bad. Mm. I don't think it's that bad, to be mm. honest. When I watched um, what's, uh, Water, Water and Gary. Gary. Water and Gary. It wasn't really bad. Mm. I think what... I did really like about that movie was the storyline. The storyline, the way and it ended. The yeah, I was like, what's you this? Know, even everything was looking a little bit disorganized. It's so honest. crazy. Yeah, but her acting is not bad at all mm. for you know someone who has been in the music industry yeah. and solely you know focusing on music. Yeah. So uh, I don't really know what this one is about. I don't know if it's new music. I don't know if I it's think a it's movie. Maybe, maybe some music video she's doing. He's featuring in it, and she, they're just yeah. trying to make noise. You know, right? we never know Anything these days. For PR. I swear. For PR. So looking forward to it. I think yeah. 18th of October we'll mm -hmm. find out. Definitely. Yeah. And on our editorial segment, after announcing his breakup with Hailey Bailey, DDG has addressed the backlash he faced on social media. He emphasized that while they have split, Hailey remains family and he loves her deeply. He expressed that life changes and the future is uncertain, but anything beyond his announcement is private. DDG expressed frustration over the speculation surrounding their breakup, noting that no one is at fault and they are simply taking a break. DDG also criticized the narratives being created about him and Halle, stating that he has seen people making up stories and timelines without knowing the full situation. He urged people to respect their privacy, reminding them that public figures share only what they choose to share. He concluded by stressing that while fans may feel connected, they don't really know the details of his life and should focus on the state statements given rather than speculating further we fans were angry at you ddg were angry my own is i don't understand why would you come out to say 
uh, want to keep things private. I don't want to stand. Like, you are saying that, oh, you want to keep this private, you know, whatever it is, oh. going private. And you are still on about going on every podcast show, you know, talking about you know, how much you love Haley, how, oh, this and that and all of that. <sighs> if you want it to be private, then stay away from the media. Yeah, you we don't, don't want have to, you know, be a guest on every podcast show. We don't want to hear it. <laughs> and, you know, in all of this, Haley has been really quiet. She oh. hasn't said a word. I'm sure she's embarrassed. Yeah, she's actually really embarrassed. I mean, it's just like, oh, <sighs> You just have my baby and you know after the baby we're done it's just so why scary. have a baby why build a life why tell yeah. me i don't mm. understand the celebrity marriages like yeah. why make me feel like we're in it for the long run when yeah. you just like checked out after the baby why is it every time you have a baby why yeah, is you know, it always something is, in general in general not just for celebrities or for you know couples yeah a child changes everything you think so yes they always like say, what tell me couples, like what it's not the same my darling do you know the changes that happen in childbirth in, your woman, seen, in a woman's I mean, body, in a, right? In a woman's body. Okay. Thing, and then at a time, a woman also can tend to, you know, um, nurture the child more. Okay. And, you know, shift her focus from the, the man, man. Okay. Because she's spending more time with the child. Okay. So if as a father, you're not, you know, really into the whole nurturing thing and understand that, okay, this yeah. is a moment where your woman has to have. Yeah. And it's just going to be like for a phase. It's not yes. going to be forever. You just have to understand that, okay, this is a phase. Yeah. She might not have that, you know, whole attention mm. given to you at the same time. I understand just what you're saying. You're making yes. sense. So it makes, there are a lot of changes. Aside that, there are a lot of changes also that come with women as well. Some people, you know, have loss of memory. Some people wow. lose their, yes, people, people give birth that. and they have loss of hair. Oh my God. Yeah, some people lose their sight after childbirth. Mm -mm. There's a lot of changes. And all also, there's something called postpartum. Postpartum, depression. I know about that. So a lot of women also go through that. I know so about that. If you are strong and pass that phase mm. after you know childbirth and all of that, trust me, that marriage will somehow will still work. Stand. Gotcha. So I that's a, a huge phase that a lot of people are not prepared for. Yes, I feel as though that in the beginning the baby came, he was happy. Yeah. You know, they posted, they hit the baby's face for so long. Yeah. They went finally revealed the baby's face. I mean, I just thought they were happy. So that's what you guys, everything you see on, on social, social media, media is not real. true. Yeah. Yeah. You, You'll be you sitting there thinking that your relationship yeah. is like, no. Mm -hmm. I'm so I shocked. I don't know why it's always like. I think those who even post more on social media always <sighs> have something to hide. There's always something wrong with their relationship. I don't know. I just have that mentality in my head. It's going to take me a lot to change that. Yeah. Because every time I see people doing all cheesy, doing all love, it's crazy how they always break up. It's like, crazy. By the time you hear the things that go behind closed doors, yeah. it's like, what were you guys now showing oh, I feel us, so you know? bad for Hallie. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what. I think she just needs to just yeah. get your baby girl, get your sister. Mm -hmm. You guys go on a little trip and just re revamp. And on our new collection, Mushia Prada Wow the Fashion Scene with Mew Mew's Spring and Summer 2025 show at the Palais de Lena in Paris, which was transformed into a lively newspaper printing press by artist Goshka Makuga's installation, The Truthless Times. This immersive setting explores themes of truth and misinformation, showcasing the overwhelming nature of today's information. Models presented a collection that fused childhood innocence with adult sophistication, starting with a nostalgic white cotton dress, the show highlighted spontaneity in fashion featuring unconventional styling where dresses were twisted and sweaters worn as tops. Mushia's Prada emphasized that this wearing things in the wrong way approach was a conscious choice to embrace spontaneity. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed watching. And on Spicy or Not, Tyler stuns Instagram with beautiful deluxe cover wearing a fabulous brown corset. The corset hugs the body perfectly, accentuating the waist and creating an hourglass silhouette that's totally captivating. The fabric looks luxurious, adding a touch of elegance, while the string adds an edgy, playful vibe that hints at a daring personality. It's the kind of look that commands attention and exudes confidence. The hairstyle is a bold choice that complements the outfit beautifully. It frames the face perfectly and adds to the overall allure. Together, this look is a stunning combination of sexy and stylish, perfect for making a statement. And she definitely made a statement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's different, it's unique, and it's so beautiful. Yes. Yes. Our African girlies are killing, killing it. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's like we're seeing fire, fire, fire everywhere. Yes. Like, yeah. that, that was really, really a unique look. It yes. was really beautiful. I really loved it. Don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye-bye.